Lab. G'day there! Welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. Wow, definitely looks like some great weather out there today. I'll definitely be heading to the beach after this. What's the weather like where you live? Is it hot, cold? Maybe it's clear and sunny, or maybe it's raining. It's pretty easy to see how our weather changes from day to day. Some days it'll be really sunny, a great day to slap on some sunscreen and head to the beach. Other days it could be cold, raining or even snowing, a great day to read a book by an open fire. Weather forecasting helps us predict what the weather will be like in the near future. It helps us plan our days out. Will you go outside and play with friends? What will you wear? What activities will you do? Weather forecasts are also really important for another reason. To plan for and stay safe during extreme weather. Extreme weather is defined as any weather event that is significantly outside the normal range of weather for a given location. Extreme weather can include both extreme coldness and extreme heat. Changes in weather patterns can cause extreme weather events like hurricanes, thunderstorms, floods and blizzards. Meteorologists are scientists that observe, collect and analyse weather data in order to predict when, where and how severe a weather event will be. This allows people time to evacuate or make plans on how to stay safe during extreme weather. Today we're going to learn about one of the most destructive extreme weathers on Earth. A tornado! Wow! Look at it go! A tornado is a column of strong air that stretches from the ground up into the thunder clouds of the atmosphere. The twist and turning nature of tornadoes is why they're sometimes called twisters. A tornado forms when cool dry air meets warm moist air below a thunderstorm. The cool air is more dense than the warm air and sinks to the ground. The less dense warm air is then pushed upwards. This causes wind that blows vertically, up and down. This causes the wind to rotate and roll along the ground. An updraft then pushes the rolling air upright into the clouds above. Water vapour in the clouds is pulled down the vertically rotating column of air and when it reaches the ground, a tornado has formed. Tornadoes vary considerably in the strength of the winds, the diameter of the rotating column and the speed of which it moves. Scientists classify tornadoes on a scale called the Enhanced Fujita Scale. At the bottom end of the scale are EF0 tornadoes. These tornadoes have wind speeds of 65 to 85 miles an hour and cause only minor damage. As you move up the scale, the severity, speed and damage caused by the tornado increases. The most powerful tornadoes are classified as EF5. They have wind speeds greater than 200 miles per hour and cause incredible widespread damage. The largest EF5 tornadoes have enough force to lift vehicles 
and sometimes even houses into the air. They are extremely dangerous for any people or animals in the area. Scientists are not able to stop a tornado from occurring, but by closely analysing weather data, they are able to forecast where a tornado may occur and predict its severity. This will give the communities time to plan and prepare, or perhaps evacuate until it is safe to return. Thanks for learning. See you next time in the Lighthouse Lab. Thank you.